Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. In this project series, we are making a memory game. So far, we've got a set of 36 cards made of 18 pairs, shuffled and laid down on the board. Let's continue coding. We'll start by adding input from the player. We will need to monitor mouse clicks in their position. The rectangle will help us find out which card the player clicked on. The update method compares the previous and current state of the mouse button. And it sets the rectangle according to the current mouse position. We will add a bounding rectangle to the card as well. We will use it to compare the positions of the mouse and card. Let's write a method inside the board class, to get a card by clicking on it. We go through all the cards, and find out which one intersects with the mouse cursor. If there was no click or none of the cards intersected, the method returns null. Let's do a little test. We will use the update method in the game manager. First, we update the input manager. Then we find out if we clicked on a card, and if so, we flip it. Previously we flipped all the cards in the constructor. We will remove that now. And we are ready for the test. The player input works as intended. Perfect. To create the game logic, we will make a small state machine. We start with an abstract game state class, from which each state will inherit. It has an update method referencing the game manager so it can access the necessary data. We will have three states. Flip the first card, flip the second card, and resolve turn. Then we return to the first state. Let's prepare all the game state classes to fill in later. Each will override its update method with different game logic. In the game manager, we change the board to public property. And we add a variable for the current game state, which we initialize as the first state. Next, we'll add a simple method to change the state. Let's prepare for another test. We will move the current game logic to the state class. And we'll call it from here. We will modify the code slightly, and we are ready. Everything still works as it should, great. Now we can start creating the entire game logic. The game must remember which two cards the player chose. Let's prepare properties for them. As part of the first state update, we assign the selected card and move to the next state. Selecting the second card will work very similarly. But we need to check if the player chose a different card than the first one. Then we move to the resolve turn state. Before properly resolving the turn, we must first add an identification number to each card. And also a visibility property. The card will hide when the player collects it. We let the board constructor set the identification numbers of the cards. And we'll modify the method to get the card, to ignore the invisible ones. We can complete the remaining state now. After the player clicks, the game checks the selected cards. If they are the same, they hide. Otherwise, they both flip back. And finally, we return to the flip first card state. That's everything we need, it's time to play the game. All the game logic works, perfect. And that's all for now. But we will continue working on this project in the future, so don't miss it. Do you have any suggestions on how to improve the game? Please, share them in the comments. Your best ideas might get implemented next. You can find the code in the description. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.